I've, I've learned something in, in, in the long run. I think everybody here is, uh, is churchy. Um, we spend so much time, so much time trying to fix us. Try to be perfect. Try to be, uh, you know, image of God and image of Jesus. And we try so hard. And uh, oftentimes we fall short fall very short and it took me a very long time in my life to realize that I can't fix me only God can fix me and if you're anything like me our prayers have always been Lord supply this supply that Lord keep my family from this that and the other Lord keep this and the other, give me more, open the doors to the finances, open the doors for, for happiness, for joy and all this stuff. And none of that stuff is bad, none of that stuff is bad. But there is an order. You see, when, when Jesus was around the disciples, the disciples were like, teach us how to pray. Teach us how to pray. And Jesus' reply was, you do a little something like this. Our Father, who art in heaven, First of all, acknowledging that God is our Father, that we are His children. Acknowledging that. You know, oftentimes we lose sight that we're children of God, that He loves us unconditionally, that we can go to home, open the fridge, and, and eat as we want. And take, 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 take everything that we want from the house, because that's our Father. And what does it say after that? Let your kingdom come and thy will be done. And what I want to find now is a generation that wants kingdom to come to earth. What I want to find now is a generation that wants the manifestation of the glory of God to come on this earth. See, because once that happens, miracles begin to happen. Lives begin to change. And we don't need to decorate Christianity because Christianity doesn't need decoration. You don't need to make Jesus pretty because God is already the glorified God, the glorified God who saved you, who saved me, who forgave you, who forgave me and died for the sins of this world.